There is no magic without imagination. I have a basic rule. Give them what they expect, then what they want, then take them further. Give them what they could never imagine. You're going to be the hands. So if any sleight of hand happens, it's because you did it. Four coins. Mm -hmm. All I want you to do is just stack the coins up in the middle of your hand. You can use the other hand. Okay. Perfect. I want you to imagine that you took one of those coins, you gave it to me. So with your hand, pretend to pick one up and pretend to give it to me. Just... Yep, with your hand, just pick up an imaginary coin. Okay. Perfect. Give me it. Did you give me a coin or did you just imagine? Imagine. Everything in life starts with imagination. <laughs> Don't freak out. And somehow I have one of your coins. <laughs> Make sure this is real and not a figment of your imagination. Okay. Place your hand on it. There's one, two, three, four. Okay. Stack them up again, put them right in the middle. Perfect. The first time you imagined you gave me one, somehow it happened. This time I want you to actually take one and really give it to me. Then close up your hand and hold those tight. Fair? Okay. You did all the work. Okay, yes. The question is still the same. Did you give me a coin, or did you just imagine that you gave me a coin? I gave you a coin. <laughs> Does everyone agree? Yes. I think all of you have overactive imaginations, because I have nothing in all four coins back. In what? The <laughs> <laughs> I like to imagine. It is the next level to empower your audience to do the magic right in their own hands. It's simple with imagination. Every child knows that with imagination, anything is possible. It is the gift of a new and impossible moment. It is an empowering experience that people will remember forever. <laughs>